Yo, welcome back to Cut Day Sports. How y'all doing, man? Today we're going to be talking about Coach Hugh Jackson and the return of the G. Before we begin, man, if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and handle that little piece of business. And if it's not too much trouble, y'all can go ahead and hit that like button too. All right, let's go ahead and get on into it. Everybody already knows what Grambling means to swag football. But if you don't, let me give you a little context. The Grambling football historical record is 534 wins, 239 losses, and 18 ties. Yes, if you did the math, that is a 68.6 win percent. And I didn't even get to the 15 black college football national titles or the 26 conference championships. It's one from the Midwest, 25 from the SWAC. But anyway, I said all of that to say, in the last 37 games, Gremlin is 16 and 21. And that record was simply unacceptable by any metric. Enter Coach Hugh Jackson. Since being hired, Coach Hugh has made it his main objective to get the G back on track, as well as showing that he's committed to every part of Grambling and the Grambling community. But let's be real, that's not why you're here. You're here because of what Coach Hugh did to Southern and Coach Dooley. Let's go ahead and keep it a bean. Coach Eric Dooley, known for the fly suits and getting all the recruits, just had one of his most prized guys, Arkansas defensive back Devin Bush, flip by Coach Hugh Jackson. In the 2019 recruiting cycle, Devin Bush was rated as a four-star athlete, the 260th best player in the country, as well as the 28th best defensive back. He attended the great Edna Carr and won three state titles during his four-year career. During his senior season, he had seven interceptions and took four back for touchdowns. He boasted a 4.4 40-yard dash time and had 21 offers coming out of high school. On that list included Auburn, Clemson, Florida, Georgia, and LSU, just to name a few. Now in a typical SWAC offseason, that's it. That would be the big news that would carry us all summer. But in the new SWAC era, it's only the tip of the iceberg. Coach Jackson has assembled quite the recruiting class. 27 total players, eight from Louisiana, eight from California, two from Alabama, five from Texas, two from Florida, and two from Georgia. 18 offensive commits and nine defensive commits. And yes, they have stars everywhere, but it's bigger than just stars. This recruiting class is addressing a lot of deficiencies that the Tigers had in the 2021 season. If we're going to just shoot straight, the Tigers offense was anemic at best in 2021. They averaged minus 17 points a game and then 11 outings passed for 1,300 yards, 10 touchdowns, 11 picks. And I know what you're going to say, but cut, bro, we dominated in the run game. And I hate to say it back to you, but that's wrong. 1,200 yards and seven touchdowns on 361 attempts is not domination. But no worries, Coach Hugh Jackson brought in competition for every single position. Six offensive linemen, two quarterbacks, five wide receivers, three running backs, one tight end. And the best thing about having a new coach, everybody gets a fresh start, no matter if you've been there two, three years, or it's your first year on campus. Everybody has a clean slate, so the food is out in the middle of the field. Whoever the hungry is gonna go get it. Iron sharpens iron. You put those pads on, no matter what your star ranking is, you gotta go prove it. Oh, oh, you was ranked a four star? Okay, that's cool. You, That's what you was in high school. That's what you was last year. What are you right now? I wanna see it today. What you got? It's just that competition level is gonna make everyone raise their game up. One of the most impressive things that Coach U has done in the recruiting trail is secure home, as well as building a pipeline on the West Coast. To build a West Coast presence is opening a whole new audience that's probably never even considered HBCU football. I really like the fact that Coach Hugh Jackson made it a point to be balanced in his recruiting. Recruiting Grambling's home state of Louisiana just as much as he recruited his own of California. And the best part about all of this is it's not even National Signing Day. They're not done yet. Thank y'all for watching the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, cut day out.